Hey there, YouTube. and CJ Holmes here. Well, now for something completely different. Uh, I like to collect pachinko machines. And uh, recently I purchased one <clears throat> which came with a ball lifter mechanism. I don't know when this thing was made. 1960s, early 70s. I don't know. I don't know hardly anything about these machines. They're certainly not common here in the States. I've never seen one like this for sale or um, any pictures of it. When I received it, it wasn't working. The motor was seized and uh, one of the links was broken, I believe. Now, I'll show you later on um, how I repaired one of these links here. But anyway, the motor's up there. I added this switch. <clears throat> now... I kind of know how it works. I got the motor running, by the way. Um, there's a couple of, of features on it. And it may be missing. I'm almost sure it may be missing an upper tray sensor. I've got this uh, power going to nowhere or coming from nowhere. There are two sensor switches. <clears throat> There's this switch here, which controls this little door. There's a solenoid inside there, and then there's a switch down in there. There's also a pressure plate there. So I think the concept, <clears throat> basically, is that, uh, you know, balls are fed into the hopper. Uh, they go down the mechanism and eventually, <clears throat> balls fall out of uh, here. Every losing ball falls out here. Every winning ball falls out here. Normally, you'd have a tray like this that you put underneath to collect the balls. And then, when the tray is full or you're empty up here, you fill the uh, upper hopper <clears throat> with balls. The auto load mechanism this uh, replaces this little bucket with this holding tray. So let me show you that it works. So I'm going to press uh, this little pressure plate here. Okay. Cool. So you've got a little elevator mechanism. Now, let's try it in reality. Um, I've got the latch in the open position, so balls should just start pouring out the bottom of the uh, machine. So, let's see if uh, it works here. Okay, there they go. Now, you saw, you saw the mechanism start to work because it's got uh, some balls in it. The weight is starting to press down on uh, this. So let's just add some more balls. See if we can make it work. Some more. Boy, <laughs> pachinko machines are loud. <laughs> oh my goodness. But anyway, you see that uh, that thing works. Now, <clears throat> there's also this um, mechanism here. I'm not sure what its purpose is other than to possibly drain the lifter of balls. Because when this is activated... I, I put in this switch, 
by this switch, um, the, the switch will activate the solenoid. The solenoid will solenade. <laughs> solenoid will activate the door, and then they'll direct the balls through this little trough out here. So I got to put a bucket there and hope that it catches it. All right. <clears throat> so if I activate, you'll probably hear it buzz. Let's activate it. All right. So now the door is open. Let me close it. Okay, let me open it again. All right. Now, if you've got enough pressure, It drains the tray. Let me turn off the solenoid. All right, cool. Uh, what's one other thing? Oh, I do want to show you where I repaired one of the leaks. Okay, right there. I added a strip of plastic because uh, one of the links was broken there. It's fairly brittle plastic, but that was the only place that I saw uh, any damage. <clears throat> oh, also there's uh, this cover, which goes here. Sorry, it's really weird to uh, okay. to do this and hold the camera with my left hand. Eventually I'll get it. You can't see me fumbling. You can only hear me, but there. All right, so that goes in there. Um, yeah, so there's this, uh, I think it's a mounting bracket that uh, you can use it to screw uh, onto the back of the Pachinko machine. And uh, there's also, uh, I think, a mounting plate there. I'm going to turn it around if I can. I'm going to have to unplug it. <clears throat> My little workbench is really inadequate for something as big as this. <laughs> it's so hard with one hand. There we go. Cool. <clears throat> All right, so I added the black cord. The two white wires there come from the solenoid. Here's the other side of it. I also added the main power cord. It's listed at 100 volts AC. 110 should work fine. That's the motor gear housing. And then the elevator shaft, the tray. It was uh, fractured when I bought it, so I added... Uh, some reinforcing plastic there. Okay. I don't know what this is for. It's I don't know what it's for. But that's it. An auto load ball lifter mechanism for a pachinko machine. Bet you haven't seen too many of these. Anyway, that's it. Have a nice day.